We will talk about worm infection in adults. Worms are called helminths also. It's very common infection among adults. Around 10% of adults are infected by these parasites. They usually live in small intestine. They absorb nutrients from us, from our foods, absorb vitamins, minerals, and they can cause malabsorption, also can cause abdominal pain uh, and inflammation, but usually it's asymptomatic. In 70%, around 70% of worm infection is asymptomatic, especially among adults. Most common symptom is abdominal pain. This abdominal pain is usually not very severe. It's mild and intermittent. Time to time pain comes and goes and it can be chronic, lasting for several months, sometimes several years. Nausea and vomiting also important symptom. It's also not very strong. It's also usually more mild. And diarrhea is the third most common symptom. Diarrhea also can be chronic and, and can be um, different with inten intensity, intensity. Sometimes it's mild, sometimes it's more prominent. It depends, but usually chronic. Most definitive sign of worm infection is if you found worms in stool. It's most definitive sign. In the blood, what you can see is eosinophils. Eosinophil usually high. And in case of worm inf infection and in case of many parasitic infection, high level of eosinophil is very characteristic and very specific for parasitic infection. So if you see high eosinophils, first idea you should have parasitic infection. IgE, immunoglobulin E, elevated also can be in case of um, hel uh, helminth infections and anemia, especially iron deficiency anemia is characteristic of worms in adult. Uh, first, let's say which is most common worm among adult is pinworms, also known as thread worms. They are most common among adults, especially in developed world. Usually it's asymptomatic, no symptoms, but very characteristic sign is itchy anus. Anus region is itchy, especially during night when female worm comes out and lay eggs. At this case, when this worm is moving around anus, anus is itchy. It's very characteristic and very hallmark of the condition. And how it's transmitted? It's transmitted fecal oral route. So hygiene is very important. Washing hands is very important. But also a pinworm eggs lasts uh, and can survive on the surfaces. And even you washing hands regularly, there, there is still chance that you infect from pinworms. So that's why it's very common infection. Definitive diagnostic test is tape test and treatment is antiparasitic medications, albendazole and mebendazole. Uh, usually um, intake them once is enough or two times, one, uh, once and second after two weeks is usually uh, enough, um, but uh, there is no guarantee that you will not be infected again. So there is no definitive treatment treatment effective, but uh, no guarantee for reinfection. And uh, when one person is intake medication, uh, other family members should intake also because this parasitic infection is very high contagious. Second most common, uh, most common worm among adults is hookworms. Uh, ancylostoma duodenal is very common and especially it's very common uh, in developing countries and in areas where sanitation environment is not perfect and hookworms at first cause rash 
on skin, on legs, this part of uh, this, uh, on, on foot, uh, this part of foot is area where from where larva of hookworms uh, infect the skin. This larva moves through the body. It moves via blood and then starts multiply uh, in the intestines. So at first we have rash, skin rash, itching, itching skin, and we have some this type of uh, lesion of skin on the foot. It's common and it's characteristic for hookworms. After this, uh, when already we have chronic infection, abdominal pain is common and hookworm can cause iron deficiency anemia. So if person has iron deficiency anemia, we should think about hookworms, especially if it's developing country, if it's endemic area. And hookworms are important because it increases mortality among pregnants. It increases mortality among pregnants and it causes slow down growth development in children. So it disrupts child's development. That's why treatment of hookworm is crucial, especially among vulnerable segment. What is treatment? Treatment is albendazole and mebendazole again. Um, single or twice dosage also is effective usually and reinfection also possible again. And third most common worm among adults is tapeworms. Tapeworms very interesting worm. It's usually asymptomatic, but it depends where it infects person. Sometimes it infects brain and it is called neurocystocircosis. Neurocystocircosis is serious condition. It can, uh, it can cause epilepsy and neurological symptoms. And if you're watching movie uh, House MD, TV series House MD, there is, um, there is one theory about neurocystocircosis and about type worms and it's uh, it's very interesting series so uh, I advise you to watch this series. Um, usually our body clears type worms uh, from itself without treatment but if neurocystocircosis develops it requires treatment. Best method to diagnose neurocystocircosis is imaging test like CT scan or MRI and tape worms also can cause bite valve deficiency and how it's transmitted tape worms are transmitted through raw or undercooked meat including pork beef and fish so undercooked meat is dangerous because of neurocystocircosis because it can cause serious neurologic problems that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now